Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Today we're taking a look at another portable setup, this time by Whiskey 3 Victor Lima. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Before we get to today's content, I've got to give a shout out to these two gentlemen. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. Patrons enjoy exclusive behind-the-scenes content, early access to many YouTube videos, and priority email support. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. And guys, if you want to see your portable setup featured here on the channel, look for the link down in the description below. So John was kind enough to send over photos of not one, but two different setups that he uses. One of them is for soda, and one of them is for poda. So today we'll be taking a look at his soda, Summits on the Air setup. So first up, you can see the Camelback backpack that he keeps everything in. And we got a couple of different images of that. Uh, so he's got most of his gear on the inside, but he does keep a mast on uh, the outside of one side of the bag and his HT on the outside of the other side of the bag. Now, one of the cool things uh, that he does, and a man after my own heart right here, is inside the bag is more bags. So what you're looking at here is, uh, looks like an iPad over here on the left-hand side. Uh, this is a battery bank that he uses to power his Raspberry Pi. Again, you can see his Yezu FT3D down here, and then a couple of other bags. Opening up the first bag at the top, he's got uh, his radio. Uh, looks like he keeps the Raspberry Pi in here, and several accessories for the radio. Now, as he starts laying out the rest of his gear, let's take a look at what he's using. Uh, you'll see the keyboard that he's using up here in the top left corner. Uh, he's got an option of using this keyboard with the Raspberry Pi or using the keyboard uh, that he has on the iPad as well. Right below that, you'll see the GPS microphone for the radio. And then he's using the BioNO 4.5 amp hour 12 volt battery. Coming down through the list here, you can see the Sombrant sound card with the necessary cables. Uh, this looks like a power cable for his Raspberry Pi. We've got a USB hub here. I believe this is a cat control cable for his radio. Uh, of course, you can see the Raspberry Pi here, and then the Ellencraft KX2 transceiver. Right below the KX2 is a Ellencraft AX1 antenna, and he also has the AXE1, which is an extension. Uh, so this antenna will cover 15, 17, 20, and 40 meters total. Below that, he has a Vibraplex trail-friendly uh, para-end-fed antenna, and this one will cover 10, 20, and 40 meters. Expanding on out with the rest of his setup, you'll notice up here in the top, he's got a section of coax, and then right beside that coax, this black coil here is an Ed Fong, or maybe that's ED Fong, dual band roll-up J-pole. I'm not familiar with this one. I've got a couple of roll-up J-poles, but I can't say that I've run across this one in the past. Below that, you'll see some wire here for a monoband homebrew 20 meter dipole. And I'll show you this connected up to his radio in uh, just a couple of more slides here. In addition to that, you'll see some tent stakes and it looks like some guy wire wrapped around a couple of those. The gold light portable mast over here. And then he has a rig experts antenna analyzer. That's a pretty small little analyzer. Great for a portable setup. All right, and here's a photo that he sent in. You can see the KX2 connected up to the Ellencraft AX1 antenna. Then you see his iPad running in the back. It looks like he's VNC'd into the Raspberry Pi and running FT8 call. And again, a different photo of that same setup. 
Now, here's a little closer look at his Raspberry Pi setup. So you can see the battery bank down here in the bottom left, and obviously the power cord coming in to feed the Raspberry Pi 4. He's got his GPS unit connected up, and then he's feeding one of the other USBs to this USB hub. From there, you can see the Sombrant sound card on uh, the bottom there, and then that cat control cable that we were talking about earlier hooked up in the other port. Now in this image here, you can see he's running pretty much the same setup, albeit with a different uh, antenna. I'm not sure which antenna this is feeding here. A little bit of a, another close-up look at the Raspberry Pi. And then in this photo, you can see uh, the iPad a little bit better, along with that nice keyboard he's got going on with it. Now let's take a look at this connector right here. It's got a BNC connector on one end of it that's plugged into the radio. The other end has two terminals, a positive and a negative. This style of connector, we can use banana plugs and plug into the end of it, or you can unscrew these, loosen them up, and then slip some other terminals in here and then tighten that back up. This is uh, what he's using with that 20 meter homebrew dipole. A close-up look at the Ellencraft KX2. I know the guys that own these are huge, huge fans of these radios. Super portable and uh, can pretty much work all bands and all modes if you get the added modules into it for 2 meter. And finally, one more look at the iPad. This time he's running JSA Call on the Raspberry Pi. And again, he's got uh, the KX2. You can see his FT3D sitting there, Raspberry Pi over in the background with the battery bank, and then going out to an antenna that we can't see from this photograph. Okay, guys, well, there's a look at Whiskey 3 Victor Lima's portable setup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off, and we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.